Oh boy. What up, Pink Ladies, T Birds? Just happen to be watchers of my sh. My name is Jimmy Pink. I know it looked like I got on a gang of different colors, but I had on my mask today. Mask is an accessory now, so the whole misfits mask tied the outfit together. Um I'll try to wait a little bit. See, I know it's Saturday. I know it's kind of the middle of the day. I kind of really don't give a shit because I don't feel like pulling out my camera. Um, hey, Josh. Um, 1993, hello. Um, today is a very sad day for the YouTube drag community. Okay, hi, everybody, because a whole lot of y'all just came in. Yeah. So if you haven't heard, I am not try, I wasn't trying to break the news. I just uh, really wanted to address it. Um, so if you have not heard, yes, Lady Red Couture has passed. Um, hey, Queen was like such an inspiration to me. I'm sure as far as to other people in the YouTube drag community, whether it be a reviewer, interviewer, what have you. I got my own shit going on in my personal life and I came home, uh, got on Twitter and that just kind of fucking gutted me, man. That shit just fucking gutted me, man. Like th This is the straw that breaks the camel's back for 2020 for me right now. That shit just fucking gutted me because um, there might be infighting and they might be, there might be, what's up, Darby? There might be some infighting, there might be beef, but we as the YouTube drag community, and again, especially your reviewers, your interviewers, uh, oh, this shit just fucking gutted me. I, <sighs> absolutely, she was an inspiration. Oh, Darby, I love you too, baby. And happy belated birthday, too. Happy belated birthday. It was Darby's birthday yesterday. Um, like, I'm literally just gutted by this. I'm sure I'm not the only one that Hey Queen was an inspiration to, especially Lady Red. You know, um, she was a black woman. We're not going to say, you know, yeah, she was trans, but she was a black woman. She was a big black woman with a big obnoxious personality who can just be downright ghetto was fucking proud of it didn't give a fuck what she said so of course that is a huge inspiration to me like I said of all the people's merch I got y'all have seen me with my hey queen shirt on I'm fucking gutted like that that was the straw that broke my broke the camera and usually when it's somebody that I've never met, it's not usually like me fighting tears. Like I'm literally fighting back fucking tears right now. Like I I don't know how much more of this shit I can fucking take. So I say that to say this. Um, because of some, some personal issues going on in my own life within my own family. Um, I had yet to watch Canada this week. I had only watched the last half an hour of Drag Race. And um, at this point in time, I feel that it's only right to um, postpone my reviews um, in observance of Lady Red's passing. Um they will come out. They may not come out until next week or later in the week. Um, I'm gutted. We lost a fucking icon, y'all. Oh, shit. I am not trying to fucking cry on camera. But that, that shit just fucking gutted me, man. I, that was the straw that broke the camel's back for real. And I know there's a lot of people because you don't see certain things. You don't see big black trans women or 
other drag queens, other black trans people, other black women that are not scared and are getting in front of this camera and getting out and doing drag in the first time. And I'm quite sure a lot of them is from, because of Lady Red. I didn't, I, I didn't even look into that. I, I know Twitter in passing yesterday, I knew that she was in the hospital. I knew she had been in the hospital a couple times because I remember they had a GoFundMe for her last year. So yeah, I do believe that she was sick. Um, yeah, it lies. I think you just said it, it's just super fucked up. You know, you never know who your icons are and what people really mean to you. And that's why it's so important to give people their flowers before they fucking die. Like, that was something I, I aspired to be on Hey Queen one day. Because, yeah, it's usually the drag race girls, but they do have other people. I aspired to be on Hey Queen one day. I couldn't wait to be on fucking Hey Queen with Lady Red and be like, bitch, give me a piece of chicken. I'm hungry. Let me get a recipe for some of them goddamn trade fucking whisperer secrets. Like, and something that's a little bit different than Drag Race on Hey Queen, I feel like I know Johnny. I feel like I knew Lady Red because it wasn't a reality show. This is something they were doing that was them. You know what I'm saying? Just like we a family here and we feel like we know each other. Yeah, Lady Red passed away today. I'm 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 fucking gutted. I remember that I had on my Hey Queen shirt one time and somebody thought the shirt was me and Maddie Rants. I took that shit as a fucking compliment. I was like, Oh, you think we dope enough to have a shirt together? What's up? Everything that's been going on in 2020, me and my cousin was just talking. How many people personally in my fucking family that I have fucking lost in 2020? Because it ain't just my fucking dad. Personally, within our family, how many people we have already lost this year is seven fucking months in. I cannot take this shit no more. I, that, this shit is really the fucking straw that broke the camel's back. I can't see myself now trying to go back and watch Drag Race, knowing Lady Red wanted to be on Drag Race. One of you just said she was rumored to be on season 13. I wanted that for Lady Red. I think we all did. I think we all did. Just like we were so proud of Soju, we'd have been so fucking proud of Lady Red because she ours. This shit is fucking unreal. It fucking broke me, man. That ain't no bullshit. This, this shit just fucking broke me, bro. I was just telling my mom, you know, my mom don't fuck with the drag, but she know that's what I do. And I had the shirt on and I was explaining to her who they were. This is like three or four days ago. Maybe it would be not, no, no more than two weeks ago that I had the shirt on. And um, I was explaining to my mom who they were. And we're getting the Ross in my area. And I was telling mom the story about why I thought Ross was a store for drag queens because Lady Red Couture always called it Ross Cross Dress for Less. So I thought it was a store for drag queens. And I was like, shit, I was still gonna go in there. I'm a big girl. They probably have some sweet shit. Drag queens be having on fly shit. Lady Red shop there, I'm going. I'm fucking gut it, man. I'm fucking gut it. Um, like I saw that, I instantly put the lime in the coconut because I, I don't know how much more of this shit I can take.
we lost a fucking icon. We lost a fucking legend from a community that I'm part of. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's shit. She trended in the whole fucking country. So she definitely was a fucking icon. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm a member of this community. I'm on YouTube and I talk about drag. I'm a member of this fucking community. We are fucking peers. And it ain't like when C when C Maddox passed away, I didn't even realize C Maddox had passed away. And I didn't even really feel like I was at that point in time a member of the drag reviewer or the drag community. I wasn't that big shit like that. I wasn't that I didn't feel like I was part of the community. I didn't talk to other reviewers, shit like that. But we are a fucking community out this bitch. And we just lost one of our own, man. Oh, God. That sounds awful. Y'all excuse me, it's bright as fuck out here. So I really just wanted to get on here and address it. I didn't feel like pulling out the camera and all that shit. I'm sitting right here with my phone, the same phone I just found the shit out on. Um, and I was about to, I literally was like checking Twitter. I was about to go upstairs, watch Drag Race, shoot that review, turn around, do Canada, shoot that review. I kind of, I'm not even in the fucking mood. I'm just going to keep it a buck with y'all. I'm not even in the mood. I'm going to observe her passing today. And um, in honor of her memory, we're going to wait to do the review for a while. Yeah, C. Maddox was one of the first Drag Race reviewers. Right, it's not just community, it's an extended family. Steve Maddox, I didn't even know he passed away till Logan Hardcore tried to bring the show back and was saying, like, I talked to his mom and I was like, wait, C. Maddox passed? I didn't even know. Because as y'all know, there were, well, for some of y'all, some of y'all been around this long. The majority of y'all have not. I had started reviewing Drag Race reviews because C. Maddox had missed a week. That's how I started doing it. I literally started in the middle of season seven doing reviews. And then I stopped and I came back for All Stars too, I think. I can't even explain that to you. Like, this shit like legitimately feel like I lost a fucking family member. And trust me, I've lost enough this year to know. Same fucking feeling. Oh, she didn't have COVID. It was season eight. Thank you, 1993. So, I'm going to raise my glass to Lady Rhea Couture. You will be loved. You will be missed. I don't even know how do you even continue with Hey Queen. And my prayers are with Lady Red's family. My prayers are with Johnny McGovern. Because the thing about uh, Lady Red and Johnny McGovern, they like they were actually really friends. They were actually really best friends. My prayers are with him as well. And I know that like, we all grieve in different ways and we all got to move on, but we would understand if Hey Queen didn't never, if, if Hey Queen was done, we would understand. We'd hate to see it go, but she was such a huge part of it. I would understand. How do you move on and continue to do something that you was doing with your best friend? She ain't here no more. I totally get that. I also totally get 
continuing to do it in her memory. I get that too. So whatever Johnny decides to do with Hey Queen, we're going to stand with him. Whatever Johnny decides to do, we're going to stand with him. We're going to surround him with love. We're going to surround Lady Red's family with love and light, and we're going to honor her memory. This is so fucked up. This is so fucked up. Yeah, I thought, yeah, they live together. Dude, this is destroyed or broke the camel's back. I saw Regis pass. Regis was 88 years old. Old people die. It's sad, but he lived his life. Lady Red didn't get to. This, this this broke me, man. This fucking broke me. This fucking broke me, man. Yeah, Jasmine. Darn, Jasmine Masters is close. Yeah. Well, you know, all them L all, first of all, all them L.A. queens... A lot of them L.A. queens, they was friends, you know. How we gonna have Hey Queen without having the black lady screaming at the end? How we gonna fucking do that? How do we fucking do that? It's fucking insane, bro. Shit's fucking insane. But I'm not gonna hold y'all. I didn't want to do no big long video again. Really, I only went live to do it because I'm like pulling out the camera to basically share my condolences and my feelings about Lady Red and that tell y'all that the Drag Race reviews is going to be postponed and um oh thanks Jamesy but um I about to oh yeah you could tell when Lady Red was excited somebody was there she was she was just real She ain't have to be on Worlds of Wonder. They built their own shit. Like I said, that was a real fucking inspiration. Okay, those steps up, Barbara Kirk. Like I said, Lady Red Couture was an inspiration to me. Personally. That was somebody else who didn't change. They was to be on YouTube and get views and shit. To just be this unapologetically big black woman. I'm just going to eat this fried chicken right on goddamn screen. I'm hungry. I'm big. I like to eat. She shared our truth, her truth with us as a trans woman. She was just unapologetic. And when I go through and I think about some of the changes that I've made to my channel for the better and some to try to be more commercial or to be monetized, it would be watching Hey Queen and Lady Red that would be like, fuck that. The shit people need to see is me being my fucking self. Fuck all that. And, um, yeah, I'm broke.
I'm broke. I think her and Jasmine Masters is drag cousins too. I think her and uh, I think her and Jasmine Masters is drag cousins too. I think they mothers was uh, drag sisters. Um, this one hurt, man. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all like this shit. This shit hurt, man. This shit really, really, really fucking hurt. And like, not to bring my own shit into it, but like I said, I got shit going on within my own family. Hell, I ain't done grieving my fucking father yet. I ain't done fucking grieving my twin cousin yet. I done lost so many fucking people in 2020 that I knew in real fucking life and this shit okay well, let's just keep it a buck ain't nothing gonna hurt worse than my dad but this shit hurt like I lost a family member on the strength on the fucking strength I came home and seen that shit and was like fuck everything get drunk I just knew one day I was going to be on fucking Hey Queen. Y'all think I'm bullshitting. Because I think me and Lady Red would have gotten along so goddamn well. Because I'd have been like, bitch, I don't smoke all like that. I know you'll smoke me under the table, but bitch, what's good? You drink, you cook. I cook too, but really my thing is baking. I bring the motherfucking dessert, bitch. I think. And that felt so much like a reality that it could happen because of what type of person Lady Rhea was. So felt like it could fucking happen. I'm fucking gutted, man. Like, I... I'm good, like I said, like it might be in fighting, it might be motherfucker that you don't fuck with. It might be motherfuckers you don't talk to, but we as a fucking YouTube drag community or it's a fucking community. And she was one of ours, man. I don't want to bypass by not saying congratulations, Shea Kool-Aid, but shit's just unreal. So again, I'm not going to keep y'all long. I just want to make a video. Let y'all know what the team So I'm going to go ahead and roll out. Y'all keep it greasy. Fuck. Bye.